up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I wanted to show you my favorite five pier fishing lures. Um, today I'm at Dustin, Florida on the Ukulele Island Pier, or near Dustin, Florida. I'm on vacation and I'm having some luck with a few lures and I've done a lot of research and looking what other people use. But you want to use uh, my favorite one right here today and I had a nice Spanish mackerel one that got off is uh, the bubble rig and uh, this is really common on piers you'll see a lot of people with it basically you can get all this stuff at Walmart um, any Florida Walmart usually by the beach and uh, this is a bubble right here and you fill it halfway up with water and basically this gives you a weight to cast out with and it slides up and down your line to a swivel that stops it and then this also makes a lot of splash when you're reeling it in to attract the fish get their attention then you have a little basically just a treble hook and you'd be surprised but this really does attract the fish I think the bubble really gets them up to the surface but then you got this treble hook and you basically just a lot of people make their own and this is basically just a straw or a piece of uh, flexible plastic that goes over the shaft of the treble hook and uh, you'd be surprised how well this works and this is a lot of go-to this is probably my favorite for pure fishing the next one is a gotcha lure. These are the next best ones and uh, they dive really quickly. So you basically just give them two quick jerks, let them drop a little bit, another qu two quick jerks, and they really have a lot of erratic motion and uh, really good for kingfish, Spanish mackerel, and uh, other game fish in the area. So that's my second favorite. My third favorite is just a plain old spoon right here. And with spoons, um, they work really good on sunny days. What you want to do is just cast out. Um, as far as you can and just j give it some jerks and kind of almost jig it as you're reeling it in. So give it like two strong jerks and then let it sink down a little bit because when it sinks it flutters and that's when you get most of your bites. So there's a spoon, another good lure to have on the tackle box when you go to the pier. And here's a pompano jig. And these work really good for pompano on when they make the run at certain times of the years and other game fish. Sometimes whiting will take them. But uh, it's another good jig to use in the tackle box. And the last thing, which I don't use much, but it's a topwater popper. And people use these for bass too. But if you see, this is only for sight fishing off the pier. If you see fish aggressively feeding at the surface, a topwater popper can be effective. And the last thing that's kind of like a lure, um, maybe not 100% like a lure, is here's a little, I have two rigged up right now, but here's a little sabaki rig. I got this for $1.50 at Walmart. Basically this helps you catch bait and it's just a bunch of little hooks with like a little bit of a bead on them and uh, it kind of attracts the f bait fish and uh, you can get a lot of bites on them and you just, I've, so far I've caught about eight bait fish tonight on them and a lot of times bait fish will work better than lures. So you got a little weight right here and you can see there's a lot of, there's always a lot of bait fish around the pier pilings in the summer on these piers in northern Florida. But uh, I hope you learned something here today and uh, you'll include these lures and the sabaki rig in your tackle box when you go to the pier and uh, hopefully you'll catch some fish. Thanks for watching.